if you sit under the feet of Apostle Manuel Inkum, and number one, you don't go to heaven, and number two, you don't prosper on this earth, then it means the demons following you are wearing black and blue. They are wearing, wearing black and blue. And I honor the oil and the grace on his life. And want to thank God for all the pastors, the music team, everybody. God richly bless you. You may please be seated. Father, this morning, I pray for fresh oil on my life. I ask that the flesh in me will die and your spirit will come alive. I pray that I will speak not as a mere man, but as the oracle of God. As your word comes this morning, I pray that the sick will be healed. I ask that let curses be broken. I pray that confused minds shall receive divine direction. I pray that limitations, embargoes shall be lifted. Sweet Holy Spirit, we dedicate this service to you. Touch every man, every boy, and every girl represented here. I ask that you will do the amazing. And at the end of this service, we vow to give you all the praise and the glory. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody say, Amen. Galatians chapter 3, verse 13 and 14. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law. Being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone that hung on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. May the Lord add his blessing to the reading of his holy word. We started this conference from Wednesday, and on Wednesday, I spoke about redeemed from the curse. Of the law. And I said to us that curses are real, so are the blessings of God. We also saw from the book of Deuteronomy where the Bible says that anyone that hangs on a tree is accursed. So Christ Jesus hanging on the tree, hang it on our behalf, so that the curses due us will be transferred to him. And the blessings on him will also be given unto us. On the cross, there was exchange that took place. And one of the significant things that took place on the cross was the fact that our curse was being terminated through Christ Jesus. And I took time to explain to us the nature of the curse. We look at several definitions of curses. And then also, we studied about the various sources of curses and the indications of curses in the life of a man. And the following day, I spoke about dealing with evil family pattern. I said that curses can manifest as evil patterns in our families and in our lives. We took time to go through the scriptures to, to excavate how curses can pass on from one generation onto the other. We look at the life of Abraham, which was our biblical example. We look at contemporary examples. We look at Max Jukes. And then also, we look at some New Testament examples. And on Friday, we spoke about dealing with the curse of thou shall not excel. This morning, being the concluding part of this series of teachings, I want to talk about redeemed from the curse of the law. Redeemed from the curse of poverty. Redeemed from the curse of poverty. And we will be reading also from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9. 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9. So for, you told me I'll be preaching at 9.45 and you're taking so much of my time. So all the introduction 
and everything I did is not part of my time. After answer, my time is beginning. My time began at 10.30. So that is the, that's when my time began. So you can't tell me I should finish the service at uh, 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 10.45. You can't tell me that. There are some churches you go there and they will put timer upon you. You um, will preach and then you pray, 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 pray. And nobody should put timer on me and do me pray, 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 pray here. Uh -huh. Redeem from the curse of poverty. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor. That ye through his poverty might be made rich. So you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that even though he was rich, yet for our sake he became poor. So that, so that through him we might become rich. On the cross, one of the things that took place was that he took our poverty so we can have his riches are you here so many of the time when we are looking at the work of christ on the cross we limit it only to sin we think that he only took our sin to the cross it is not only our sin he took to the cross he also took our poverty to the cross. For you know through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that though he was rich, yet for our sake he became poor. He became poor on the cross that we through his poverty might become rich. And one of the things I need you to understand is that the thing called poverty is part of the curse that took place in the Garden of Eden. Poverty is a curse. And part of Christ's coming is to redeem us from the curse of poverty. I want to show you from the scriptures that poverty is a curse. The thing called poverty must not be entertained in our lives because poverty is not a blessing. Poverty is a curse. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Now, in the Bible, anytime you hear the expression the curse of the law or law, it is referring to the Old Testament or the Pentateuch or the first five books of the Bible. In the first five books of the Bible, if you read it very well, you will see that the law was prevailing and with the law, it came with so many consequences and in Deuteronomy chapter 28, which gives us a biblical proof that poverty is a curse. Let's come to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 through to 14. We will not read. Genesis chapter 28, verse 1 through to 14 talks about the blessing as a result of we obeying the voice of the Lord and following his commandment. Let's look at verse 1. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments which I command this this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth, verse 2. And all these blessings shall overtake thee. 
or shall, shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. So in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 to 14, talks about the benefit of obeying God, hearing the voice of God, which comes with blessings on our lives. Blessed shall thou be in the city, blessed shall thou be in the field, blessed shall be your body, blessed shall be the basket. Talks about blessing upon blessing and upon blessing. Then in that same chapter, Genesis, sorry, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15, you will see the mentioning of disobedience and the consequences of disobedience. So Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Media man, can you help me there? It shall come to pass. Now, now, if you will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, mm -hmm. Now, now, if you don't hearken to the voice of the Lord and obey His commandments, then all these curses shall come upon thee and the curse will overtake you wow so Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 to 14 clearly speaks to us about the blessing and then Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15 to 68 talks to us about cases of disobedience wow now let's look at Verse 16 to 19 of this same scripture. He said, Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Ooh, come to that. Cursed shall be thy basket. Come to verse 17. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. your savings and your bank account. 18. Care shall be the fruit of the body, the fruit of the land, and the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. 19. Care shall thou be when thou comest in and care shall that be. Now if you read throughout to the end, you will see that the thing called poverty could not be found in verse 1 to 14. But poverty could be located in verse 15 to 68. So, poverty is part of the curse of the law. So, Christ Jesus took away our poverty, then he gave us his riches on the cross. So, as a child of God, you are not supposed to be poor. Poverty is not part of the redemptive work of Christ for us. Every child of God must understand that through the cross, no matter your background, you can be wealthy. And this morning, my assignment in this house is to massacre poverty. The, the, the thing called poverty cannot be seen in your life again. In the Latin, there is a proverb the same. And can I say to somebody from today that poverty can never find your address? I can't hear your amen. Lift up and say, poverty can never find my address. Lift your hand and say, my broke days are over. Shout to yourself, my broke days are over. Say, poverty, God punish you.
Come on, somebody say poverty. God punish you. Do like this poverty. You are under my feet. Come on, say poverty. You are under my feet. I release the oil of prosperity over your life. You will never be broke again in life. Every trace of poverty in your life is broken. Receive the power to prosper. Receive the grace to prosper. In Jesus' mighty name. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. He took, he, he, he took away our poverty. It, uh, the thing called poverty is a very bad thing. Poverty. And yet, poverty is bad. That is why Christ took it away. Because he knows that the thing called poverty is bad. Poverty. And yet, I'm almost done with my preaching today. Poverty, eh, and you, it's very bad. Poverty will make you laugh at the wrong side of your mouth. The thing called poverty. Poverty has the capacity to embarrass you before your mother-in-law. Poverty is bad. He became poor that we might become rich. He became poor. And many, it's unfortunate that many Christians have not combat poverty out of their lives. And so, a lot of Christians are under the severe punishment of poverty. Many years ago, about 30 something years ago, you know, I used to be a very vibrant and screaming preacher. When I'm preaching, I'll be jumping all over the place. Then I had the trousers, and the trousers has gone through First World War, Second World War, and Third World War. Done all kinds of alteration. I was preaching at Ghana Koko in Kofurudia, Ghana Commercial College. I will never forget it. Whilst I was preaching, I did like this, and the trouser torn. And the thing wanted to swing. Then I said, everybody close your eyes. The Lord is in his holy temple. When the Lord is in his temple, nobody must move. Then all of a sudden, my walking started changing. Because the thing, if I, if I play the fool, me, you will see the thing just swinging all over the place. Anytime we come to church and the brothers are walking like this, I'm telling you, probably something is happening. Aja poverty is very, very wicked. Very wicked. He took away our poverty and he gave us his riches because poverty has the ability to embarrass you. I remember those days I used to have a yellow shoe and that yellow shoe was my best shoe. My goodness. Anytime I, 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 I wear that yellow shoe, it, it, it's, like, it's, like, it's, it's like I'm going to a bad, a best or a great occasion. And we went to, we were having a church program and I wore the shoe. Whilst I was going, the shoe, the heel of the shoe, uh, a tear, a tear. And you could also see that there was a tokro the that shoe nursing. We went to church. The worship was so powerful. I mean, so powerful. Then I, 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 I decided to go down on my knees and, and just to enjoy the, the presence of God. When I remembered that there was hope under the shoe immediately, I just stood up. It changed my position. Poverty cannot even allow you to worship God. It can disturb you. The thing called poverty, I'm telling you, it's so bad. That is why this morning, I am here on assignment to massacre. I came with spiritual catalyst to chase poverty out of the lives of your people. Now, if I be a man of God, this year will be a year of greater manifestation of prosperity in your life. I said this year 2024 will be the greater manifestation of prosperity in your life. Receive prosperity. The thing called poverty is so bad. I'm telling you. It's poverty. And me, I am on a mission that 
my children's children's children will never see poverty. It's, it's never possible. And so this morning, I just want to show you how we can have mastery and dominion over poverty. As a matter of fact, poverty must not locate you. It is never the will of God for us to be poor. In Deuteronomy, sorry, in Proverbs chapter 10, verse, verse, verse 15. Let's look at Proverbs chapter 10, verse 15. Proverbs chapter 10. The rich man's wealth is a strong city. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. Poverty is a destroyer of life. Poverty destroys life faster than HIV. Poverty is a destroyer. The rich man's wealth is a strong city. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. So poverty has the capacity to destroy lives. There are gifted people. There are talented people. If they have gotten sponsors, they would have done well in life. There are people that are brilliant, but nobody to pay school fees for them. Not everybody that walking on the street is a rebellious child. Some people are coming from a home where there was no money at all. There was no money. It's not that they don't want to go to school. But it's like there is no money to fund their education and to fund their lives. So poverty is a destroyer of lives. Poverty is a destroyer of destiny. And any man who doesn't understand this and fight poverty can never fulfill his or her destiny in life. Young men, I want to talk to you this morning. Now, now you, you must do everything legally and righteously to come out of poverty. Poverty is not good. Everything legally, everything spiritually, everything righteously you have to do to terminate poverty over your life, you have to do it. I am so passionate about this teaching because this is my core area of ministry to empower people to succeed in their faith, in their finance, in their family, and in their future. And I have seen what poverty can do to the lives of people. Poverty can wreck your life. Poverty can destroy your life. If you don't attack poverty, now, Philip, what is poverty? Whilst I'm almost in the half of my teaching, what is poverty? Number one, poverty is the opposite of prosperity. Poverty is the opposite of prosperity. When a man is not prosperous or rich, he's said to be poor. Poverty is the opposite of prosperity. Number two, poverty is the state of lack and hardship. The state of lack and hardship. Number three, poverty is suffering financial harassment and embarrassment. Financial harassment and what? Embarrassment. Then number four, poverty is a mentality. Poverty is a mentality. I want you to note this. These four descriptions and definitions of poverty. There are seven things I want you to know about poverty. Seven things everybody should know about poverty. Number one, poverty is not equal to holiness. Poverty is never equal to holiness. Our God is the holiest of all, yet the richest of all. In the street of heaven, there is gold. If the street is gold, what about the bedrooms? And sometimes we think that the more poor you are, the closer you are to God. So you will see some pastors whose shoes have worn so much and the, the shoe have worn so much that it has made them to become bow-legged by force. And then when they are coming to church, they wear their worn shoe that have altered their workings. They have a particular tie which is like the sword of the spirit. And the flap of their suit is like the breastplate of righteousness. And whilst they are coming, they come in a weird and a queer manner. And we think that such a person 
is more closer to God. So I want you to understand that poverty is not equal to holiness. As a matter of fact, poverty is ugly. It's so ugly. The second thing I want you to note is that poverty is a destroyer of destiny. Anyone that will entertain poverty, it will destroy your destiny. Oh, yeah, a big thing. Say, what bravo number three poverty is an attack on your spirituality. Poverty has the ability to attack your spirituality. Many people that are not spiritual and can't work with God, many of the reasons is, is poverty. Out of poverty, many have entered into prostitution. Out of poverty, many have entered into 419ism. Out of poverty, many people cannot even get money to buy, to buy books and read. Even to pay transport to come to church is a problem. Why? Because of poverty. Ladies and gentlemen, poverty will make you lose dignity. Poverty will make you lose dignity. It will cause people to talk to you anyway, anyhow. Simply because you are poor. Then number seven, without Christ, without Christ, life on earth eh, will be like hellfire. Without Christ, life on earth will be like what? Hellfire. And without money on this earth, life will be earth fire for you. And many people are going through earth fire. Um, who she she no? Hey, one day someone says, Charlie, Charlie, so for me, who she she me, who pa pay me, me yes she any year. And many people in church, um, who pa pa um, and who children, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the Lord. Poverty is part of the curse. If Christ has redeemed me from poverty, why then should I be poor? Poverty is bad. Oh, here, and yet. Oh, here. I didn't hear no here, no, and you. As a fool, no, my entertaining, oh, here. And yet, oh, here, and you. Hey, oh, here. So, and me say, be a possible catch Share. I did be a doing here, me entertaining spirit, Ten reasons why I here I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Last way, me kind. I'm actually the day say Sika and the Bema. Scanny Bema. Or Bema be a Wosika be an Oyri automatically so get submitted to you. Automatically. So for Enna Sofu, Enna Mere, Mere, Neme Casa, Mere Casa, Casa, my brother, Cope Sika. Cope Sika. We look for more. See, the church, we don't want to hear the truth. 
we don't hear, want to hear the truth. I can, I, can, I can prove to you from scriptures that it is bad for a woman to put food on the table for a man. It is bad. It is the man that must put food on the table for the woman. Provision shop where the provisions in our home. I'm tell you. Yeah. Na na castle. Now we show castle. And school fees. And you think you think such is life? I pray for all the men here. Receive the oil to prosper. All the men receive the oil to prosper. So we make out ten reasons why we are When, when God put Adam and Eve in the garden, listen to this, brothers. Okay, He put man in charge of the garden. In Genesis chapter 3, when the serpent came in in the cool of the day, Adam was far away, spoke to the wife, deceived the wife, and then made the wife to eat the forbidden truth, a tree. When the wife got the forbidden fruit and ate, she now gave it to the husband to eat. That was where the problem was. Why should the woman rather give the fruit to the man to eat? When, the, when a woman starts giving men fruit to eat, it's a problem. It's an error. So, yeah, man, man. Problem business, Maybe one day we'll do finance convention. One day we'll do finance convention. So, me man with 10 reasons, make a catch roll. Now, I feel it. My troll, some few things near Bompire. Now, Yapon. Why is poverty not good, number one? Because the Bible says it is not good. The first reason why poverty is not good. It's because the Bible says it is not good. The Proverbs, Proverbs 10, 15, the poverty of the poor shall destroy them. So poverty, and yet, Bible can say, and yet. Number two, reason why poverty is not good. Poverty will make people run away from you. When people know you are poor, they, when, when, when you are calling them, they won't pick your call. Because Onimsa Ube had not dream with transportation. So nobody wants to be friends with a poor man. People will leave you if you are poor. Number three. Poverty makes people look down on your God. If you say you are serving a God that is rich and wealthy. Why can't that God prosper you? One of the reasons why many Christians are becoming gay. 
one of the reasons why many Christian men are becoming gay is because of money. Because people say in the gay society, there is plenty money. And gay is an abomination before God. So if you are poor, people look down upon your God. You are praying. Shokoloko Bangose. My poor time, my poor time. I live by the forty thieves. I break, I conjure, I adjure. Number four reason why poverty is not good. Poverty is not one of the promises of God. It is not one of them. It's not there. Number five. Poverty will make doing the will of God difficult for many people. Poverty will make you doing the will of God difficult. I'm telling you, sir, let's be real. Oh. Let's be very, very real. And sometimes, let's stop hypocritical preaching and teaching. A young lady who is beautiful. Pastor, how would you know? Because I have eyes. Beautiful lady. Whose shape is like that of a guitar. Coming to the radiant place. Nicely dressed. In a pencil heel shoe. Cat walking. And her rent is due. And whilst coming to church. A man in a black formatic Mercedes Benz. <laughs> driving. And parked beside our dear sister. Oh, lowers the glass. The perfume from his body. So sweet. Then you will see the equalizers flowing and says, oh, lady, you're nice. Where are you going? I'm going to church. And the man removes his complimentary card and say that, please call me anytime you are in need. I tell you. When my dear brother, what pong a sorry pa, what the bot drums, what bo guitar, what bo equipment. Then a certain woman tells you, Kwesia de Bia Bedi a mutuo. Wa bupo mutua bupo series, different, different kinds of drinks. Meanwhile, meanwhile, which is a new bedi crap or unibi. A sugar mommy preparing some just palatable meal for you every weekend. It tastes God. It tastes God. I'm telling you, it tastes God. It tastes God. I curse poverty in your life. Poverty will not make you disobey God. You will serve God in truth and in spirit. If you say, Amen, receive the grace for that. Me, I don't judge you. I don't judge too many times. Because sometimes when people tell you what they are going through, you have no idea. Because of poverty, young girls have five boyfriends, seven boyfriends. The one that buys the hair, the one that pays the rent, the one that pays water bill, the one that buys credit on the Vodafone, the one that buys credit on the MTN. Every, I, mean, I mean, various kinds. The one that brings food too. So, so you can see why poverty it makes you the, doing the will of God very difficult my brother poverty affects even your growth as a child of God you can't grow you can't grow in the things of God you can't come for Bible study because you see when we do church plenty times there are some people who yet they have so they have to the Lord of so when there is a program that will enrich their Christian life, oh ma, because only she can be your Lord of And then number seven, poverty hinders evangelism. A church cannot grow without evangelism. And we are going to do evangelism. Yesika. Yesika. 
Mwaso komo ho. Eye si kome juzika. Eye si ka. Ah. I'm telling you. I'm sorry we say. Share. Eye si ka ho. Eye si ka. If you program my eye this week. Eye si ka. Share. Printing of flyers. Eye si ka. I'm telling you. And I'm sorry. If this church has 15 luxurious air conditioning buses that is supposed to take people from various parts of Accra to come to church. We can't, we can't fit here. We can't fit here. Receive grace to prosper. Oh, come on. I said receive grace to prosper. Are you ready for number eight? Poverty is the reasons for many marital issues. Warrior problems it has been said that two thirds of every divorce can be traced to money sikasem so your wife comes to you and says oh I will say it because you're shopping kakra huh what's it then I will say Na 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 na. In the manner we talk, last week we found him. Found. She said, "No way did you get here, Fa." She she. The way did you do any ni ni na? Do you any na? Say ah. Now we say do any so to see any of them. One to see any. Near to see this one within one week. And now Kasa do do. Now my brother, he is Kasem. Hey, me ni ama. Who kuna debi ani bu efu ni na no ni sikao. Who se who kuna bu efu. No we muna ne nim, no wa ye ne nim hu hu se hu hu nya. E ye si ka na oni. Bi bi ki tu e bi pe no pe so no kunto kwa. E ye si ka. You can't you can't even sit down and have meaningful conversation. You can't sit down. Lack of money. Share. And then he say, oh, a bon. Sika, 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 Sam. I come 30 minutes long. Okay, my bones is here. I kept my sons, I come 30 minutes. My bones is here. But, says he can't hear what he wants. I'm an intimate question. A young lady came to me. So, Daddy, I'm going to get married. I found my partner now. I'm really excited. His name is called. Alex, oh gosh, such a such a great guy. Anytime I see him, ah, oh, I can't even breathe. Ah, oh, I'm so. Me see my sister. Oh yeah, you are having asthma, 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 asthma. Na wu baby nya. Anytime you can't breathe, piano. Aye 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 asthma, asthma. And then, then I ask her, oh, what, what, what work does he do? Oh, daddy, daddy, I'm telling you, the work there, it doesn't matter. The most important thing is that we are in love. I say, you are a fool. If you don't live here, I will beat the stupidness out of you. You are a fool. Who told you that love is what we need for marriage? Love is not the only thing we live for marriage. No, 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 no. Love is just a foundation. We need other things and other things. And the other things is money. Shika, ka, ka. I'm telling you, when there is money, it makes romance easier. No money, no romance. No finance, no romance. Am I talking to somebody here? So it is good to have money. It's good to have money. It makes, it makes marriage easier. A man who doesn't have money, your wife will call you monkey. A man who doesn't have money, your wife will call you monkey, monkey, monkey. But when you start producing money, he will call you honey, 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 honey. So when, 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 when you hear a woman calling the husband honey, 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 it means the man is producing money, 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 money. Are, are, are you here? I'm almost done. I'll say I can't be 30 minutes. But... So you need money to make marriage sweet. Sweet. You don't use you don't use love to pay antenna bills. You don't use love to pay house rent. It's money, money, money. This morning I'm telling you, poverty is living our lives. So I said, poverty is living your life. 
your season of prosperity has come. Whatever your hands touch, it shall prosper. If you please shout the loudest, Amen. One day I went to America. The when I was coming, I came with four suitcases for my wife. Shoes upon shoes, dress upon dress. I tell you, it made going to the throne room of grace very easy. My talking was very limited. He that has an ear. Money open, uh, poverty open doors for sickness and diseases. And in Ghana here, if you don't have money, you will die. Ghana, I'm telling you, if you don't have money and you are sick, you will die. So bad. Our system is so cruel in Ghana. Last year, I've never said this to Apostle Christ. Maybe I don't know what I told him. I was going to do a conference at Takrade. So I decided to fast. Only one day. And I have all kinds of tea flavors I take from London. So I just pick a flavored Chinese tea that I took. Immediately I took it, started having severe pains in my tummy. Then it caught my heart. I said, oh, Ebejai, Ebejai, Ebejai. 23rd of June last year, I will never forget it. Ebejai, Ebejai, Ebejai. I went home from the office. The pain was so severe. So, so, so severe. Then I couldn't walk. I didn't have a chimney. Then I went to a hospital. Um, Holy Trinity. Yes, down there. Me, that I was dying. If you don't, we, I mean, we have A and E, accident and emergency. We'll check you in, make sure you are okay. They are now asking, do you have NHS card? And you have to fill the NHS card. Uh, you have to pay for uh, admission, no, first for 156 Ghana cities. You have to pay for that. And then they have to go consultation, seven around something. So in the pain sitting down, me, Uno, the nurse was gallivanting around. Um, Instead of you taking me and making sure that I am okay, no, and no, and no, they, now after I have paid for that, they now took me to their, hospital, their room. They needed syringe. I'm so be some don't pan you know. Eight cities. I have to pay eight cities before they will go and bring the 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 And 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 you see some few days that I spent in that place, I spent close to twenty thousand Ghana cities in that place. Some few days I spent. And I'm saying to myself, how many people can 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 afford that? I'm telling you, and many people, um, the kind of food they eat, it's causing them to be sick. The kind of food they eat, because it be in the home. It be in the home. So this thing called poverty, it's so bad. In fact, I've come to realize that by God's grace, now no, 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 some vitamins, beer, it keeps you healthy. But who could face it when you have no vitamins, CB? Who could face it when Eh? There are some things you take and it keeps the body fresh. So poverty can, add, can make sickness even attack your body. And then lastly, poverty is the source of all kinds of temptations. I won't preach or just write reasons for poverty. I will stand here. I won't explain reasons for poverty. Number one, stinginess. Stinginess is the reason for poverty. Proverbs chapter 4, 
Proverbs 11.24. Stinginess. Proverbs 11.24. So, any person that is very stingy will be poor. There is that scattered and yet increases. And there is that with all dead. More than is meat, but it tends to poverty. So that withholding. See, the thing called stinginess is bad. <laughs> A man that wants to get married, if you are trying to court or date a lady, there are doors to the heart of women and every man must know. Every woman's heart has a door. And I said, man, you should know how to open the heart of a woman. To open the heart of a woman, you must have generosity as a man. There are some men, their hands is like that of Afrocomb. They don't give. Oba wo penu unche na dieta ni bebte na urefi. The proof of love is given, for God so loved the world that He gave. When you take a woman out for dinner for lunch, whatever. Man, you must pay for it, not the woman. And add transportation on top of that. So, a person who does not give any stingy cannot increase. You must be a giver. Are you here? Stinginess is not good at all. And some of you come to church, you don't even give. The more you give, the more what you get blessed. Second reason for poverty is loving sleep. If you love too much sleep. Proverbs 20, 13. Oh, look at Proverbs 20, 13. Love no sleep, lest thou come toward poverty. So if you love too much, be open thy house and thou shalt be satisfied with bread. They sleep. How can you imagine? 7 a.m., 8 a.m. Or permanent water. You are sleeping. Sleeping. I've seen that many people in our churches are lazy. Lazy people. Love sleep. I'm always awake. I normally sleep around 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. And most of the night I'm awake. me <laughs> 6 a.m. One day I asked a lady, I said, So how is your day like? Oh, daddy, me day, Mr. Rebels, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. So when you love sleep, you'll be poor. The officer say, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Number three reason why many people are poor is association with vain people. Association with vain people. And grow four omu just say, omu ni vision. Namu ni nam wild parties. There are many people they are not in church today. And now, we are called the mutu or baby abro. I mean, all kinds. See, I'm telling you by the grace of God that the friends you keep is so important. The friends you keep is so important. Mutu ano mamu ni vision. Obi timi friend wa peni eko. The piano we call. There is no plan in your life. You go to all kinds of party. There are some of you who are funeral contractors, party contractor. And the weekend, the baby and we find a apostle, and he find a year apostle, and he find a year call. My mother told me something. He said, My son, be very careful. Anytime you are at home and somebody calls you and says, Let's go out and eat, never go. Yes, he said, Many people who have responded to such a call have gone and they never came back. 
What if yes, I had an adam to be friend? He said, Yeah, Kobe B never planned, went and never came back. The prophet of 28, verse 9, 29, verse 18, he that, um, he said, He, he, prophet 28, 19, he that tilled the land shall have plenty of bread, but he that followed, Proverbs 28, 19, but he that followed, vain persons shall have poverty. And some of you sisters, if you are going to get married, don't ever tempt, if I were to be your pastor, don't ever tempt and bring to this house a man whose trousers is like this. What's up? What's up, man? What's up? Charlie, what's up? What's up? Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. You will see what will do to you. Have you ever seen somebody work in the corporate office with Wagwan Wagwan before? Wow, Charlie, what's up? What's up? All kinds of people. All kinds of people. Work with people that have vision. I have a friend of many times I'm talking to him. It's like, my goodness, my goodness, my capacity to believe God is expanded. And number four reason why people are poor, laziness. 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 Can I get 10 bottles of water quickly in front of me here? Or 10 items quickly. That would be my last but one point. Quickly, quickly, quick, quickly, quickly. Oh my goodness, quickly. 10 bottles of water. I'll do that. That'll be the last thing. I had 10, but my mom made my poor. Laziness is the number four. Then I'll talk number five, number four. Laziness. Listen, Akwajiro. Then let's look at Proverbs 24. 33. Proverbs 24. <laughs> Yet a little sleep. A little slumber. A little folding of the arms to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that traveled and thy want Armed man. Eh? Aquajuro. Hey. Let me tell you something. A juma woho. But many people are quajuro. A juma de woho. What I got to say, Jumani. A juma woho. A juma woho. But I'm upon the last point. No. Ejuma, ewo ho. Sir, there is job, plenty job. Eh? But you see, part of one of the reasons why many people are poor, probably number six, is pride. Okay, so we'll make it calm. But ejuma de bi ho. Labor, eh, Mason takes 150 Ghana cities a day, and a laborer takes 130. 120. May I do your 120. Can you do some mathematics for me? 120 times 6. Are you saying? 720 a week. Times 4. Are you saying? 2,800 a month. It is better than some bankers who are putting tie on their neck sitting in an air-conditioned room. But, that is why, you see, in London, eh, some of your brothers in London, our brothers and sisters in abroad, if you know the kind of job they are doing, you'll be surprised. That's why they won't send you that hundred dollars quack. Especially if the person is a British. Oh my goodness. Eh? For a British man to give you one pound, you have to give him reasons why he has to give you the one pound. Because nobody dashes one pound. One of the, one, one of the things that me, I, I, me, me, me first feel London, you know, me mercy kakeke. You should give me the reason why I should give you. And even that one, that one, you should give me time, time to get the money for you. I went to America to shave my hair and it was $30. Then I gave the guy $50. 
How much change was supposed to give to me? 20. So we me tell you, me me twenty dollars. The person I went to said, "Daddy, we don't do that here. We don't do that here for saying, ah, you shaved me for thirty dollars. My change is twenty dollars. Give my change to me." He said, "Up here, the twenty dollars is supposed to be tip." After the thirty dollars, now tip is there by force, sir. You must find something to do to kill poverty. Find something to do. Lazy people in church. Who said that you may know? Hey, you know yeah. But you feel too big to do some job. That is why poverty is harassing you. Me, if I were to be a woman, I would look for some place to sell banku and tilapia every night. I will go to Galilee, buy it, and then do. I will do something. I will do something. I will not become a professional beggar. Many people don't work. I mean, I mean, sometimes I look at a man, Pano say, Minisika. What? 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 Go out there. Look for something to do. Use your strength. Can you look at Proverbs 16, 11? I'm sure. I think Proverbs 16, 11. If not, strong men retain strength. It retains riches. I think so. No, or 11, 16. If not, I look for the scripture that says that strong men retains riches. Pastor, I'm about to close. Poverty is not our Lord. Poverty is not our Lord. And the last reason for poverty is evasion of tithe and offerings. Omu omu evade tithe. And eleven sixteen, eh? Okay, church for me. This is my church, so my church, they know how I work. 11, 16. Can you put 11? Proverbs 11, 16. Strong man retains riches. Uh -huh. Gracious woman retained honor. And strong man retains riches. So the last reason. Experiencing poverty. Because umun tia tight. Now their teachings be pray or internet so speaking against tithe, but they don't have the revelation of the tithe. You can't say tithe now. Tithing simply means honoring God with one tenth of your substance, of your increase, of your money. One tenth. So, see a Jamaica hundred CDs. A month, and I said, "Me here, Juma na minyam fast one hundred cedis a month." I will say, "Me chemu maku maku ten." So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Until you be hundred, no, my chemu ten. Now, who pon say, "Me fa ba ku." Emmanuel. Na me me mfa nine. Na tio. Ni nyanku po hiani ye. Consistency of obeying, not how big the money is. Are you here? What did I say? Consistency in obeying. Ain't you know? Who for nine? Na me me mfa ba aku. Se unye yi ba aku ni ma mi se ya. Unye ba aku ni ema mi se ya. Me nyanku pon. Mi din shrebi ebe tu nine ni suwa. Ni ya ube ti mi din nine na aye no. Ebe dosu asin se emra Ube fa ten ni na. Enti no. Mi pese mi di mi nshira etu na ene so. 
Kwanya o be fast wa u be ma me di mi shira atusu ni se fa ba ku pe e ma me na mi fa shira bin tu na ni so u di na ni bremia me ma u ideas me ma u insurance. Upon some time in Fanny San Kamusi Kasemuta. Number three, Memo inspirations. I will be Timmy. Enya ete a pesi kamo. Now, what for ten in your ninety? And no me a pausi kasemso. And untina. Before you be the title, Nenso Omunyashi. Last year, me see a project be. I come back and say me enjoy project na me ano. Na me found two hundred and eighty thousand Ghana cities. Me found establishing na sorry a church aya shasie a wakaswa. I picked that money and I invested into the kingdom of God. Then my wife was like two hundred eighty thousand Ghana. My wife was like. Phil, why have you done this? I said, I heard the Lord. And the Lord said, because you have done this, I will bring honor on you, on your family, on your children. And everything that you will do, it will prosper and you will eliminate stress out of your life. In the last six months, because a media dance here, Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lift up your hands and begin to thank the Lord. Thank Him for redeeming us from the case of the law. Thank you, Father. I promise you the next 10 minutes I'll be done. Libre. Can you get me the towels, the water, the water? Get me the towels. Everybody lift up your hands. Maso washe, maso washe, maso washe, maso washe. Maso washe. I'm almost done. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Come on, lift up your voice and thank the Lord. Come on. Maso washe. Lift up and say, Father, this morning, let the yoke of poverty over my life be broken. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any yoke of poverty. Any yoke of poverty. Over my life. Over my life. Right now. Right now. Break. 
Pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God. Repent of a higher passana baba. Repent of a higher passana baba. Repent of a higher Any garment, any garment of poverty, of poverty on my life, on my life, garment of poverty, garment of poverty, attracting poverty, attracting poverty into my life, into my life. By the fire of the Lord, fire of the Lord, be consumed, be consumed. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord, garment of poverty, garment of over our lives, over our lives. By your fire, by your fire, let it be consumed, let it be consumed, let it be consumed. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Let the comment come and come Let the comment come and come Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Lift up your hands. Say, Father, baptize me with financial favor. Peter Wonsa, Peter Wonsa. I know I've taken time, but you see him. I was said, me man, me did be be too. Yes, sir. Financial favor. Yes, sir. Now, please hear this. There can never be financial breakthrough. Yes, sir. Until first of all, there is financial favor. Exodus three twenty one. Put it on the screen quickly. Lift up your hands. I'm done. This is my last prayer. Then I'm going to do ministrations and then we will close. My God. Exodus 3 21. Look at this scripture very well. And I will give these people favor. Oh my God. In the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that when you go, ye shall not go empty. The first thing that God gave the children of Israel when they were leaving Egypt was favor. Page on, sir. The next few months ahead of us. Father, give me financial favor. Father, I need financial favor. Financial favor over my life. Financial favor over my business. Let financial favor come upon me. Yes, Lord. Lift up your voice and begin to pray to God. Father, give me financial favor. Yes. Lift up your voice. Thank you, Take your seat. Now, ushers, I'm done. Be quick for me. I'm going to ask you to do something for me. All those of you that I ask you to come for the feet washing, I want to quickly rush to me. My time is up. I want to prophetically do something for you. All those of you quickly, the feet washing. Basa da 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 the number of people can you just give them chairs for me from the back if you can give them chairs for me uh -huh. help me sing the song I'm done <laughs> you will know that you 
have met a prophet, you will know. You will know. No, 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 no. All of them, give them chairs for me. If you can get it for me, so they can sit down. I'm done. Thank you, Jesus. Not only that, Onyami Bemao establishment. I'm talking about establishment. In Kroswa, we push you and be answering for so that Onyami Befa Queen Bissu at the nine BC. They are just sowing a seed of 500 canners. The last Friday, they said, I am feet washing me. 500. For real, I for a prophetic connection. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I will tell you what to do. I will tell you what to do. I will tell you what to do. So much on your way, what no now. Open source the soft for me, person, maybe come. Oh, be reserved. Thank you, Lord. Ah, oh, you won't. Oh, you won't. Okay. My point, no, no. Jesus. Oh, be reserved. Oh, yeah, oh, thief, what to be here. Oh, be piano. Thank you, Lord. Do you have more? Yeah. No. No, 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 no. So there. You saw your seed I do for you. Do you have your CD here? Do you have your CD here? Thank you, Father. There are mysteries of life. There are mysteries of life. You sent it. There's no problem. If you want to send it, Momo, you can send it, Momo. Your friend, Philip, I. 
Me verse me ye bibi emma. Three things that verse nyakupon ye emma. Emra me babe pipa onashi. Me verse nyakupon ye bibi emma. They be born in Bia onai akofifa. A de bia diwechi. Ah emma unti mi emra ye diemo. And let me pipa if you onashi. Amen. And let me pipa if you onashi. In name be a diwechi, in name be 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 wako fifa. Nyami yinfi ho, na fe nyami. Enfa unai ensi ye diemo. Oma unai ko kro kro amano nations of the world. Have you oma establishment in life? But your own nice, one kasa your own nice. Fa ini fa wan kasa wan nice. Fa pipa wan kasa wan nice. Ah ah. Fa pipa. Fa pipa. Emra o pipa. Baby boni a wa kofi fa. Baby boni a wa kofi fa. E pushi mu. E niema boni a e diwechi. E fu ma mi yemu. E ne ano pay ye pipa. Come on. Kadi mechi kase enano pay enano pay eni ama boni edi mechi boni edi mechi from my parents womb from my parents womb whatever has followed me whatever has followed wherever my feet have stepped wherever my feet has stepped in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I wipe it out I wipe it out I wipe it out ah pipa pipa na pipa 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 onia pipa unkuku bad luck satanic traps la ku anto shikataya. La braka, one casa, a debia un peso be hubia, pipa, 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 la co oshika, rip la cata tata. Can I get a rubber bag? Have a rubber bag, empty rubber bag, come, pipa, 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 shake it, 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 you have a bowl, a bowl, a bowl, a bowl, a bowl. Get me a bowl. Oh my goodness. Who prepared me? Shikle kele kele tesha. Bradu shata tata tata. Thank you, Father. La 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 la. Take it. The oil. The oil. Bradu sh. Of establishment. Madam, with me, I bought for the two thousand. With my coffee for two thousand. And then the grab one. Now what you want? With my book. Listen, now what you want this month? With my bought for the two thousand. It's my pen now. Basis pun amawate. Never say. Sandra day. She, nyami be pitch out. This month, compare two thousand. Fagma u music ministry. Kasi erade famikuria si afaneni. Do a proper musician as a, as a, a proper one, but yes. eh? legend. Take it. I open your ministry. Take it. Take. 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 Bladosh. Jesus. I will touch your feet. Establishment dominion in life. Pick! 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 Thank you, Lord. Pick! 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 Watch your phone, Ibra. I just put oil on your leg. One Ibra. <laughs> we don't know what I'm doing for you today. Nyame ebe establish you. Nyame be establish you. I wish them all time. Oh my God. O 
Obiti Honum, I was a Obeka. Oh, my goodness. Take establishment. Take establishment. Take establishment. Take. Take. Establish your move. Establish your move. Establish your move. Establish your move. Oh, yeah, me, cha. Yeah, me, opa. I'm so so good in the move. So, when we finish, find a way and throw it away. Find a way to throw it. Don't. Nobody should touch it. Throw it away. You are lifted. God bless you. Take your seat. Go and prosper. Go and prosper. No doubt. May say, I ye. I ye. A sata. A rin sata. Oh. Oh, I ye. You are living. Go and prosper.
is your season of establishment. It's your season of establishment. It's your season of establishment. Thank you, Lord. Have you given your spomo? Oh, sit down. I lift you up. It's your season. Put your hands together for the Lord. Never done this before. She said, Major, I'm sorry. For Easter. But Apostle Emmanuel Inko. You know something, eh? We feel London by it. We buy our pay. We feel an Apostle Inko. We buy it. We buy it. As I said, I found an iPhone for Fraba. What top powerful one power. Say, Jamie, the Bechel. Some mommy, thousands of cities or see fetidi. Is this Papa we? In your baby, Sammy, be a mayor. Say, Eh, when you're a queen, Munkua. Men so I don't be a dummy so I may dear E. Shrama and Crawford. If I say me this are dominant so a bad radiant place. One bowl, Sam. This month of April, Obi be a we business. I will pursue we business. Be a maybe man be born for it. Nah, tell me very well. Your friend be said the spirit of increase. The spirit of what? Increase. Niyau di unsa be sumu be a na eko can wipe you out from business. Onyami ne me kasa se. There are business owners, people that want to do business, that this year, they are asking God for increase. They are asking God for business connection. They are asking God that their business will not end in debt. And yet, but it could see the end of April. End of April. I will see business you are going to sow a seed of only a thousand pay. And yes, see Kakesia. And Ose Rade, me per se me business. A Rade, me will business mo. A Rade. Mammy business ain't increasing. Mammy business connection. A Rade, ye a ka. If you me business mo. 2024 and beyond. That is the last thing I will do. A Jamunfa envelope in Mammy in Sem. All businessmen, businesswomen, people intending to do business, I want you to come. I want to pray over your life. I want to pray over your business. You say, Pastor, this month of April, I'm going to plant this seed, invoking these three blessings on my business. I want you to just come. I want to just pray with you. If you come, fine. If only a thousand. Ghana cities. Only a thousand Ghana cities. This month of April. Just come. You can do it now. Don't, 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 don't. I'll put it in your hands. Just come. I want to help you. You are doing small, small business here and there. Take this month as a covenant month of taking some steps on your business. Only a thousand Ghana cities. I want you to just come. If it's ready now, you can give. But by latest, by the, within the month of April, I want to challenge somebody. You say, Pastor, I'm looking for capital. I'm looking for helpers. Pastor, I'm even looking for ideas. Lord, I want, some, I want you to come. This year, I'm ushering. I'll tell Apostle, eh? I want to help you. I want to help you. 
I want to help you. I really want to help you. By the grace of God. Yes. Who is coming? I just want to help you. I know. Nothing less than 20 people in this house I want to initiate into business. Yes. I know. Oh, dream. If I give this thousand, the mercy they may yet then. I'm telling you, something will drop in your life. In the next seven minutes or so, we have to be gone out of this place. I want you to just come and join. I'm not bringing it for 500. I'm not bringing it for 200. No, no. The Lord didn't speak to me about that. He said, just let them plant this seed of only a thousand seeds. Thank you, Lord. I want you. Nothing less than 20 people. I want to help them. I know some of them, they are afraid. Something is telling them, what if it doesn't come to pass? I tell you, something will drop. Something will drop. Then I will be a business. But there are people I want to help them. I really want to help you. This is for business. Can I call you here? Let me pray for you. Where's my mantle? Where's my mantle? Oh, you Thank you, Lord. Yes, Increase yes, business connections. Take it in partition. Take take in partition. Take take Jesus. Take it. Take it. Take it now. Take every seed you give. Every seed you And yes, Take. Take. Impartations. Friday, Thursday, whatever, throughout the program, if you have any envelope you took whilst I'm ministering, I want you to bring it. The resurrection seed, I ask everybody to bring resurrection seed. If everything is ready, just walk and bring to me. Just sorry enough, bro. Who oh, envelope be to deem your pledge? Sorry, bro. I bless you. May every curse be broken. Over your life, speak blessing. May you prosper. May every curse be broken. Take the blessing. Take the blessings. Oh my goodness, so I want to do chair by a poem. katala Break. Resurrection seed. What any seed you have here? Break in the name of Jesus. Bring it. Answer na matinasi. Oh my God. Break every form of curse. My God. If you have 
any surgery you are going to do, come and stand here. Let me cancel the surgery. Say, oh, surgery, Break! Break! Jesus. Break! In the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. Break! Who was surgery? I want to pray for you. I, I see the angel of the Lord healing, terminating surgeries. Who was surgery? It's cancelled. Now! Pray for a miracle. I cast that virus, that sickness. I cast it to die. I cancel that surgery. And I pray that there will be total healing. Total deliverance. I cast that sickness to die. As people are reading the book, they will get inspiration. And I've, a lot of them, but the Lord said to me, he gave me three books and said, I want you to pick only 10, 10 copies. And anybody that will just get any one of the book, of course, I will autograph the book for them. And I will prophetically look at their face and make a statement in the book that will follow them. I have this book called Prosperity in Farming. This is the book that God gave me wisdom to create six businesses in London. He visited me, gave me insight what I should do. And at that time, I was going through a lot of financial farming. It's only for this one, it's only nine copies. It's only 50 Ghana cities. The nine people that will get, don't go locate me somewhere. I believe I'll be in the apostle's office. I will sign it for you. And then this one, overcoming financial recession. It's only 20 Ghana cities. But my, what is important to me is the prophetic word that I will release into the book whilst you are reading. And my favorite book of all time, Unlocking the Secret of World Creation. There are 10 places where money is hiding. If I'm looking for money, there are 10 places where money is hiding. I just go to that, those places 
and I pick money from there. So in this book, I discussed and I also showed where you will never find money. You will never find money in lottery. It's in Lotto. Lotto. So, it's, but, but, but the most important thing is that I want to get these books. So, but you come and meet me at the office and I'll prophetically sign the book for you. May you prosper. May the yoke of poverty be broken over your life. May God bring supernatural increase into your destiny. This week, experience financial miracles. I command financial doors to be opened. May the Lord prosper your business. I decree over your life that this month of April, may you locate financial helpers. May financial helpers come into your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, step off your hands towards me. Mako Shiplataya. I release supernatural wealth, supernatural abundance. Take it now. May nothing die in your hands. Whatever your hands touch, may it prosper. Your hands will build. Your hands will build. Your hands will build. I decree and declare you will never beg, you will never borrow. May the Lord bless the work of your hands. We thank you, Father. We bless you. We want to take our second offering. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. We are going to dance and take the offering, right? Oh, Jesus. Sometimes, I mean, Philia, Yes, Tan 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 tan. Twenty days we want dance here. Achira mansa. Me cana se wunti asia. Yesu mo jan chweni. Tun 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 tun. Tun tun tun. Tun 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 tun. Tan tan tan. Muni mo. Muni mo dia mapong. Oh, muni 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 mo. Muni mo dia she. Please, can you bring your offering?
You know, initially when the song was raised, I could see for him, amen and amen. Hallelujah.